Good morning, viewer. Yes, yes, breaking news from Kolkata. Yeah, the Central Bureau of Investigation CBI on yesterday, Saturday, subjected the former principal of Archikor Medical College and Hospital Dr. Sandeep Ghosh to a marathon questioning session. It was the second straight day that the former principal was interrogated by the agency over the grisly rape and murder of a postgraduate trainee doctor in the seminar hall of the state run hospital in Kolkata. The Calcutta High Court slammed the West Bengal government last week saying Sandeep Ghosh should have been the first person to be questioned at the hospital over the murder. Ten points on Kolkata rape and murder probe. 1. The CBI asked Sandeep Ghosh where was he on the night of the rape and murder of the trainee doctor. The agency also asked him, also informed him about the incident and what was his immediate action and reaction reported PTI. Number 2. The CBI sleuths also corroborated his version with that of doctors, interns and nurses who were on duty at the hospital on that night. Number third, during the initial round of interrogation, the former principal was asked about his first reaction after getting the news of the doctor's death, whom he instructed to inform the family and how and who contacted the police. The official told the news agency PTI quoted a CBI officer as saying that some of his answers were convoluted. Number four, the officer said the CBI asked Sandeep Ghosh about the weekly roster of the chest medicine department where the victim worked. It was observed that the victim doctor was made to work for up to 48 hours at a stretch. Number 5. The CBI has already questioned 20 people from a list of 40 people including doctors and police officers. Number 6. The CBI has called two psychologists from New Delhi to take part in the questioning. Number 7. On Saturday, a CBI team reached Somunath Pandit Street in South Kolkata where the main accused Sanjay Rai lived in a rented house. The agency spoke to his mother about his recent whereabouts. The agency is attempting to draw a map of places the accused visited on the day of the rape and murder. They have also contacted his friends, doctors and police officials who were acquainted with the accused. Number 8. Amid the ongoing protest against the rape and murder of the Postgraduate trainee doctor at Arjikor Medical College and Hospital, the Kolkata Police have imposed Section 163 of Bharatiya Nagorik Suraksha Sangita 2023, formerly Section 144 of Criminal PC, for seven days in an order released on Saturday by the Commissioner of Police, Vinit Kumar Goel. It was stated that rallies, meeting, processions, dharnas, demonstrations, and the unlawful assembly of five or more persons are prohibited in the specified area of Kolkata. Number 9. In exercise of the power confirmed by subsection 1 of section 163 of the Bharatiya Nagarik Sangita, read the subsection 3 of the said section 1, Vinit Kumar Goel, Commissioner of Police, Kolkata, being an executive magistrate for the metropolitan area of Kolkata as well as the district of South Chobis Parana, do we hereby prohibit for a period of 7 days from 1824 to 24 8 2024 or until further notice, any unlawful assembly of five or more person carrying of lattice, any lethal or other dangerous weapons or the commission of any act likely to cause a breach of peace and disturbance of public tranquility within the specified area in the town of Kolkata, the order stated. Number 10. The trainee doctor was found dead in the seminar hall of the hospital earlier this month. Her autopsy report revealed that she was tortured before being strangled. There were multiple injuries on her body and blood was oozing out of her eyes, private parts and mouth too. Be in this exclusive report.